Hello everybody, Steve Fry here at the OC Varsity headquarters here. Uh, one of the things I do every Monday is I, is I sort of compile the, uh, the top 25 uh, for Orange County football. We have a panel of 10 media members. I send them out some info, they vote. And here's how the uh, tabulation is going so far today. And of course we'll have the top 25 at ocregister.com forward slash OC Varsity today and all week long. Well, no surprise, Modern Day stays at number one. They beat Bishop Ahmad 31 uh, to seven. Fine win for modern day. Number two is still Mish Viejo didn't play. They had a game in Hawaii a couple weeks ago. Uh, Orange Lutheran pops into number three. Uh, they, they take uh, Edison's place. We had Edison there in our preseason top top uh, 25. And they're tied for third with Santa Margarita. Uh, other teams that moved around some. Um, Coral Del Mar, even though they lost to uh, Jay Sarah, they're at number 10. Uh, Tesoro, uh, we had him about number 17. Uh, they're, they're, they're at number 11 right now, which is pretty good because they almost beat Edison. Uh, that was one heck of a ball game, boy. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll remember that game as long as I have a memory. Other teams that kind of moved around a little bit here. Um, Tustin's in solid at uh, 1-0. Good win over Dominguez. Uh, they're 1-0 also. And then in the bottom half, here's a team that we probably overlooked was Pacifica. Didn't have in our preseason top 25. They're at number 22. So the Mariners are in there. They, ben Jefferson, the quarterback, had a fine game for them. Also popped in there was a Buena Park at 24. Very interesting team because they lost a lot of, a lot of good players to, to transfers. Guys went out. We're going to see how good Buena Park is. They're coming off that great season last year when they beat La Havre and won the Freeway League title. And uh, Garden Grove's uh, holding the thing down there at the bottom there too. So we've got some, uh, some interesting teams there. A few teams haven't played yet. We're going to have to see what happens and where they go. Like number 16, Yorba Linda. Number 19, Newport Harbor. Number 20, El Medina. They still got to play. Another thing we do on Mondays is we pick our offensive and defensive players of the week. Uh, boy, we had some candidates, man. I'll tell you, just the quarterbacks. That passing league stuff gets guys ready. Let me tell you, Nathan Manning of Capistrano Valley debuts as a quarterback at Capitol Valley. 310 yards, five touchdowns. Cooper Jones at El Toro was pretty good last year. 336 yards and five touchdowns and a loss. Irvine's Mark Felia, whose brother Eric was a great baseball player at Irvine, Mark Feely threw for a county high, 365 yards and four touchdowns. Alex Ashcraft, all foot, foot, five foot, nine or whatever of him, five touchdown pass again to five different receivers and a win over Woodbridge. Griffin O'Connor had a great day too uh, for Edison, 256 yards, four touchdowns, ran for a touchdown. Matt Robinson threw for 340 in the win over Corona Del Mar. And then we had some guys who ran the ball pretty good, Casey Carr, at Tustin. How many times have we talked about it? At Tustin running back, running for more than 200 yards. Casey Carr does that, 209 yards, three touchdowns, window Dominguez. Sunny Hills, this guy's been pretty good for a couple of three years now. Uh, Alex Young over there ran for 183 and two touchdowns. Los Amigos, Brian Pacheco, 236 yards with two touchdowns. Of all these guys, had to pick some tough ones. We also had some really good receivers too. Uh, Tyler Jones and Elisa Miguel went off for a bunch of touchdowns. We had some really good, good guys all over the place. But who do we go with? Tesoro's Chase Peterson. Unbelievable day for Chase. Throws to 330 yards, four touchdowns, ran for two, two touchdowns, ran for 76 on the first play from scrimmage. He did some remarkable things. That game was so back and forth, man. I'll tell you what, for him to hang in there and have the game he did, very worthy of being the offensive player of the week. We also pick a defensive player of the week, too. And we went with a guy from Garden Grove, TJ Taofidi, Garden Grove linebacker. He had three intercept, also lines up at safety, moves them around some. You got an athlete like that, you're gonna push them all over the field. Three interceptions, one for a touchdown, 15 tackles, blocked the punt, broke up two touchdowns and a 16 nothing win over Santa Ana Valley. And then Julius Irvin, whose dad, Leroy Irvin, was a great defensive back for the LA Rams. Julius Irvin had three INTs in a 35-21 win over Norco. So we have a lot of fun doing this on Monday, doing the top 25, picking the athletes of the week. We're going to be doing this and keep bringing you the video presentation this every Monday at, uh, here at OC Varsity. So please hang in there with us. We're going to have a lot of fun this week. Got some great games coming up this week, man. It's only Monday. I'm getting excited.